what's up, man? Hey, what's up, man? If you guys haven't watched the new video, go check it out. It's quality content. Hey, hey man. <laughs> Why are you screaming that? Okay. Wait, why is your why is this bark here? It's broken. Oh it doesn't oh that <laughs> What's up guys? <laughs> Today we are going to install a bucket seat. And I'm, I'm gonna show you guys the proper way to do a full bolt-in seat. Because a lot of times, most videos you see for an E36 or an E46, the install requires some welding or cutting because they're doing some custom rail or anything. This is fully bolt-in. It's the easiest way to do a bucket seat bolt-in trust. Let's get started. Shut the fuck up! Dude, is that a tripod we got now? Yeah, Dude, man. Look at all. No! Oh! Well, I was gonna show you guys what you needed for this install. <laughs> Let me show you what you need. What we have, it's, this is the piece that's gonna make this so much easier. This is a garagistic floor mount for an E36 slash E46. And what this does is this is gonna bolt to our frame and then our brackets for our bucket seat here is gonna and bolt to that. Okay, how about, how about we just do it and they follow along? Nah, man, we need to, we need them to understand. They have they, to, this is a learning environment. They're already watching that quote I got. <laughs> no. So they, okay. <laughs> they already left. The they're watching. Thing. Stop. It comes with all the hardware for your bracket to bolt into here, and then this has such a large range of adjustability throughout. So that's kind of an important thing, and that's how we're gonna bolt it up. You're gonna need brackets for your seat, and then you're gonna need a bucket seat. And then I went and picked up a bunch of these guys. These bolt into the side of the seat. They are M8 by 1.25, um, and the length is 16 millimeters. So we're <laughs> as far as the tools you're gonna need. All you need is an Allen key that's gonna fit your M8, and then you're gonna need a 16 millimeter for the bolts that go into the frame. All right, let's. Uh, Man, you're done. Let's do it, brother. Also, this is my sick seat. I got a Momo. Got a Momo seat. <laughs> All right, man, grab your trusty 16 door. I'm trying to do everything. Do the okay. camera, man. That sounded like it was stripping the whole time. No, I, I loosened it earlier. Yeah. <laughs> you got these little. Come over here and see. We got these capper doodles. Oh, you wanna? Ooh, oh. ooh. All right, so you got the two on this side. Okay. You got two on the other side, right? Okay. So what you're gonna go ahead and do? You're gonna grab this seat here and push it to the front. Ooh, look, look at that! that. God dang. And oh, look at that! There's three connectors. Points them. One. Ding ding. Yeah. Disconnect them. So once you've disconnected your wires, go ahead. And yeet that seat, brother. Damn, dude, you're using a lot of muscle there. How much that seat weigh? This you... thing's heavy. Yo, how much you bench, bro? bro what do you want to find oh, out? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> get that out of here. You can get it. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're a peasant with interior, you're going to have to take out those AC ducts for them rear passengers. Because, uh, show my... That, that's not what we want. Yeah, that's fitting all kinds of dookie. So, we were just going to rip the carpet off, like, super easy. But, but, look at all that. That easy. That bit right there. I don't got that. For that seatbelt. How this foam under here, man? Oh, dude, that's a lot of weight reduction right there. So, yeah, basically, Don's already going ham. We're going to cut. So, I'm going to cut around the vent. No, no. Or not this way, sorry. Yeah. Cut around the vent this way. And I'm just gonna fold it back, pull out all the padding and everything and all these vents. Oh, there is harness that goes right under this. I told you, dude. Be like... careful, partner. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see we yeeted some padding, left the carpet intact, left the wiring intact. So now just all this, all this garbage had to go. We're kind of looking at the extra padding stuff. It just can be smashed with the impact, hopefully. Go ahead and send her, brother. See what happens.
let's uh, put the seat in here. Go bring in the seat, man. How about that? Let's find out where you want to be. So really quick, the bottom of the seat, the stock seat, it had a little seat belt thingy here. Don's finagling it. I'll show you in a second. Uh, but it had wiring, uh, a harness going through the seat. That's why this is broken. It clips onto down here. There's like three zip ties. Break them off. Unbolt it with the 16, which is that. And you get your seat belt out. Seat belt has a little harness thing. There's two wires. One of them's airbag, which you don't need. And then the other one is for like your seat belt light thing. Would you, you might need this. I don't need it. You might. Yeah. So we're just gonna strip off the airbag thing and just leave the seatbelt with its little harness. We have not bolted in a single piece of hardware. So you wanna know the easiest way to get a bucket seat? Okay. Fucking don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, none of the holes are lining up. Um, this is the worst. I'm having a great time. Okay, so we have three out of four bolts in the side brackets. They're all looking good. The fourth one, on the other hand, in order to bolt in our seat belt through this hole and get it into the side of the seat, we need a longer version of the camera on me. Camera's on you, bud. Pro tip. Tip of the pros. Just gut your car. I, actually, that would make this 10 times. If you're using the garagistic seat mount Just, and your car is gutted, you're going to have a good time. If you're going to get a garagistic seat mount, you're already in race car mode. Just gut your car. Don't be dumb like dumb. Let's go. Hey, man. So, we got that longer bolt. The, the seating's perfect for me. For not you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got the it. bucket seat is in. We got the longer bolt and we got it through with the washer and everything. Get the camera, man. <laughs> <laughs> and that's gonna be my life now. Here, let me uh, go for it, dude. My final seating position. Here. I'm ready. Yeah, it feels good. You see that footwork again? <laughs> right clutch kick. <laughs> 100%. If you decide to get a bucket seat on a non slide rail, just don't. There you have it. <laughs> No, it's it's a pain in the ass. It really is. It sucks. It's not fun. It's totally dookie. Um, show them here. Take the camera. Show them the, the space you have on that side there. It's like non-existent. Hey, but at least you won't ever lose your wallet or phone or anything, <laughs> dude. For real. It's tight, man. Pro tip: put on. Well, just because his side was really hard to put in the front, just put the front because you don't. Yeah, I did. I did this front one first. And then after that, we just started finagling it and wiggling it. Honestly, no joke, got the interior. And also, if you have a level, use it so you can make sure that everything's perfectly straight and everything's correct. Go, go whip it, bro. Go do something. All right, let's go. The side bite feels like I have way more grip drifting this way than I do this way. But grip car wise or seat wise? Like tire wise. Like oh, yeah, yeah. I kind of do, but. know is that you need a lot more throttle when you're going clockwise. I'm in danger! So first kids in the new seat. I like it. I feel like way more comfortable actually like just by feeling side by. Dude, you go sideways in this thing dude? I do. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I feel like way better held in the hips and it just like worked really well for sliding. I was able to get really comfortable. Um, I still have so much to work on as far as my driving skill, but. It's, it's not, this video's not about this. Yeah. We'll get there. Yeah. 100%, gut your interior, it'll be easier. <laughs> uh, this guy, every episode I feel like we have, he's like, have you gutted your interior? I mean, dude. My interior's gutted. Dude, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Defato. If you enjoyed this program, please subscribe down below, comment, like, and tell your friends. Most importantly, tell your friends. Actually, tell people who aren't even your friends. Just tell everyone. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends.